there welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's your first time here i'm erin and today's video is an episode of hashtag friday sews this awesome hashtag was started by jen from today in jen's sewing room and it allows us to get together here on youtube every week in the sewing community and chat about what we're working on and a little bit about life this week is a stark contrast to last week when i sewed all of the things um i sewed almost nothing this week but it was nice. It was nice to take my foot off the pedal and um, chill. We've had family in town for Thanksgiving, um, US Thanksgiving, and it has been super, super nice. So we've mostly been hanging out, chilling, spending time together. It's been awesome. I completed nothing. Well, I guess that's not true. I think I showed a picture of this last week in Friday Sews. But I quilted this little like mini table runner, mini table topper. And I actually got a little fancy and I used um, some of my, not some of my, one of my decorative stitches. Maybe let me show you the best one. He, along here. And I thought that really accented it nicely. So I love how that turned out. So much so that I went ahead and I made a big version for a full sized dining table. And I played, I, I mixed around some of the fabrics and used a different one. I brought these birds in and they flip halfway. So they face the ends, if you can tell. Yeah, that's where they flip. Um, I love, love this like berry branch fabric. I think it's beautiful. I mean, they're all beautiful. Um, I'll put in a picture, but I have this top done and I'm hoping to quilt it um, and bind it before I send all of this stuff to my mom, my mom and my sister, because I talked about it like every week, but they are doing a craft fair on the 2nd of December. So I need to send this in the next couple days, really. So. The other things I worked on were nothing crazy. I did. I'm making these wine bags. Um, thank you so much to everyone who left their opinion in the comments. Most, it was kind of 50-50 on whether people said they wanted um, the, the channel with the ribbon in or a bigger bow that I'll insert just on the side seams. Uh, actually, more people probably said big bow, but the overwhelming majority was I should do whatever's easiest. So um I am going to make some of both. That was Diane's suggestion. Diane from Silver Thread Sewing. She was like, do some of both and people can choose. So I think that is what I'm going to go with. Um, I worked on, oh, here it is. I started working on another that'll have the channel in it since I didn't insert the ribbon, but I did get some wider ribbon and I'll make some of those also. I made little, I started working on little gift bags. Um, That'll be perfect for like little jewelry or little trinkets to go in stockings or just in general. Um, so I have those going. And I started taking all of my mini Christmas trees that I quilted and cut out. Sorry, discombobulated. Here's my stack of them. Started working on a way to put them on a garland because that's the plan. And I took this like tan bias tape that I already had it, and I had like a scrap length of it not enough to really do anything with um I sewed it together flipped it and then hand sewed it to the back of this and then it fits like kind of perfectly on a length of jute rope because of the fibrousness fibers of it um and the size that I made this it it has enough to give to where it slides, but it'll, I think, stay. If someone spaces it out, it'll stay. Um, and I made these like eight feet long or something. Um, I'm only going to put, I think, five trees on it. But then I figured if they have an extra long mantle or an extra long stretch of somewhere, they can have that extra wiggle room. That's all I worked on. Like I said, really, really stepped back. Oh, I did print out the Harper cardigan and tape it together because I am making it for my mom for Christmas. 
Um, but that's, that's it. And like I said, it was kind of nice to step back. I do have things I need to finish up and I kind of wish I had gotten more done for this craft fair. I might send this box frantically so for a couple days and send another box and hope it gets there in time, but it might not. So that is all I worked on and the general layout of my plans. Once I get that stuff done and mailed off, I need to clean my sewing room. Oh, I also, I did organize my fabric stash. I'll try and take a little video and insert it um, in the middle of that for basically no reason, except that my toddler pulled all of the fabric out um, and I needed to reorganize it anyway. So she and I worked together, sort of, um, and got it folded and organized really nicely. So that's cool. Other than that, in life, like I said, we have, oh, wait, no, okay, so, all right, it is late. I usually don't do these so late. But the other thing I do want to work on, I mentioned this last week, um, I have some Christmas gifts I need to sew. But before I get into those, after I clean my sewing room, clean my machine really well, um, I want to do something for myself. So I'm going to sew, I think, who knows, it could change, it might change. But I think I'm going to make Simplicity 9740. And then I'll get back into Christmas gifts. Um, like that Harper cardigan. In life, like I said, we've had a family in town, which has been super nice. Um, pretty chill the first couple days. We just kind of stayed in our normal routine, went to the Y and everything like that. But then um, we went to like a Christmas lights thing today, one of the light up shows, and it was actually walkthrough, which was cool. Um, we did that. Uh, we had Thanksgiving yesterday. We made a roast. Um, we're not huge into the turkey thing. I don't mind turkey, but we kind of mixed it up the last few years. We made a roast this year that was delicious. Adam did a phenomenal job. And then yesterday morning we did an otter trotter, a little different than a turkey trot, also a 5k, but um, an otter trotter that was put on by the Mississippi Aquarium, which is a great aquarium. It included the like race fee included admission to the aquarium afterwards. So we got to go see some sea life, which is fun. Brady's room is actually sea life themed. So she loves it. And her, probably her most clear word right now is turtle. She goes, turtle, turtle. And it's so freaking cute. So uh, that was really, really fun. We got to go see the aquarium and all that in the morning, which was cool. Highly recommend that aquarium. We might actually become members strongly considering a membership. But yeah, that's it. We've just been hanging out, enjoying our company, starting to get the house decorated for Christmas, which is super, super exciting. Um, it's feeling very homey and very festive, and I love it. The question this week from Jen was about Black Friday, and if you're doing any Black Friday deals, I bought a lavalier mic to hopefully improve the sound quality of my videos. Um, but other than that, I have not. I guess I I did buy some well, some patterns. One I did actually need as a Christmas gift, but um, I bought a couple patterns at Joanne's, but that's like nothing special because they always have those sales. I looked at Peekaboo patterns. They have 20 or 25% off of one pattern. And then if you buy five or more, your order is 40% off. So I looked at a couple um, and I still might buy one or two of them. I don't know. I have not actually made any of their patterns, but I've heard wonderful things and I've downloaded one of their free ones and looked through it that I'll make in the future. But I, I don't know. I, I started doing the thing where you're like, oh, I could easily pick five out. And you're like scrolling through every like kids, women's, men's trying to find five patterns. Like, oh, I'll make that. I'll make that. And it's just like, yeah, I probably will at some point, but do I need it right now? Like, honestly, I, I probably won't make it before next year's Black Friday sale. So like, I'll just wait. But um, yeah, so I haven't really done any Black Friday shopping in terms of sewing, um, which is fine, which is good. Those deals, sometimes they're really good deals. And I'm, I'm a firm believer in if you are already planning on buying something and you find it on sale, buy it then. But I was going, I was going down the road of finding things I wanted to buy just because it was a deal, which is not something I'm a firm believer in. 
personally. But that is it. That is our, my week. Not a lot of sewing, but like I said, it was kind of nice to pull back a little because I was in here so much. A lot of people are like, oh my God, you sewed so much last week. Um, and I did, I, but I was in here like nonstop trying to get this stuff done since I knew we had people coming into town. And poor Adam at one point was like, can we hang out, please? So it has been nice to actually hang out with my family this week. That does it for today's episode of Hashtag Friday Sews. I hope you are all having a wonderful end to your November, begin to your December. Things feel like they're ramping up for the holiday season. Are you doing any holiday specific sewing, any gifts? Let me know if you are sewing anything for the holidays. Um, I'm sewing just a couple things, nothing crazy. Um, and they were very specific requests. So I know they will be, they will be well received and well appreciated, which is key with sewing gifts, I think. Um, anyway, that does it. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. I look forward to chatting with you guys in the comments. I will hopefully be able to get caught up on some comments this weekend. I'm a bit behind um, of where I like to be with comments, but um, I will hopefully be getting caught back up this weekend and I will get a chance to chat with you guys again soon. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Okay.